Valery Ryabik, a Ukrainian military expert and development director at Defense Express, a media and consulting company, noted that when a ballistic missile alert is issued, there are only a few seconds to get to a shelter. The enemy continues to terrorize the Ukrainian population. The enemy is not able to quickly fulfill the tasks on the battlefield, so it conducts hybrid actions. One of these manifestations is the use of powerful ballistic missiles, which primarily harm the civilian population. These actions are intended to affect the population of Ukraine and its ability to resist, emphasized Ryabik. According to the military expert, the Iskander missile can strike at a distance of up to 500 kilometers. This missile is difficult to detect, respond to, and shoot down in advance. There are few locations in Ukraine that can effectively deal with the ballistic threat. Skanda can reach the target at the maximum range in about 260 to 270 seconds. Iskander is launched from a ground-based platform which the enemy tries to hide, making it difficult to detect, explained Ryabik on the air of the Espresso TV channel. The development director of the Defense Express, information and consulting company also added that the Iskander flies even faster at shorter distances. It takes only a few minutes from the moment the alarm is raised to the actual strike, two or three minutes, no more. Therefore, when a ballistic missile alert is issued, there are only a few seconds for a quick reaction to get to the shelter, Ryabik said. According to an English tabloid, The Express, Russia is currently reviewing its rules of engagement for the deployment of tactical nuclear weapons to lower the threshold for their use. Russia's nuclear weapons policy, devised in 2020, says that Moscow can use their weapons if they are attacked by an enemy or the existence of the state of Russia comes under threat. That could set the stage for an armed conflict between the United States and Russia that would be nearly impossible to unwind. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said talks to update the rules of engagement for use of nuclear weapons has reached an advanced stage. In August, Russia launched the largest number of air targets at Ukraine during the entire full-scale war, Ukrainian aviation expert Anatoly Krapchinsky said. About 789 Shaheds were sent towards Ukraine from the Russian Federation, and more than 228 cruise missiles, this is without taking into account ballistic missiles. That is, we are saying that this was the most powerful month during the entire full-scale invasion in terms of shelling, Krapchinsky said. He added that during 2022 to 2023, Russia hit Ukraine with great intensity, trying to carry out strikes regularly. However, it was in small quantities if compared with August. At the same time, the accumulation time is increasing for the Russians. That is, we can now say that the enemy is trying to increase the quantity by accumulation, not like last year when he could constantly use some quantity in stages. We are talking about the fact that the enemy is trying to inflict as much damage as possible, and we see that these strikes are primarily aimed at the civilian population by a combination of ballistic missiles and cruise missiles, the Shahed strike weapons, Krapchinsky added. At the same time, the expert says Russia is using attack UAVs to overload the Ukrainian air defense system on the eve of missile strikes. As for the Shaheds, such a large number became possible due to the fact that Russia began to actively use additional strike UAVs, which are somewhat cheaper to manufacture. But this is a significant load on air defense systems. Of course, the world community does not make serious decisions. We hear isolated statements from, for example, Poland about permission to use its means to protect the airspace of Ukraine. The expert explained, International humanitarian law mandates that military forces must differentiate between military and civilian targets before they launch an attack. Additionally, they are required to minimize civilian casualties. Serious breaches of these principles will then be classified as war crimes and drones are no exception to that. Intentional targeting of civilians would be considered a war crime. 